This is Malacca, day two. This is the museum versus Jara, Malaysia. We came from there, so somewhere there is Jonkers Walk and all that stuff. You walk. There's a place called Kampok here. K A M P O N Kampong. Kampong. Look at the trees. Very mature old trees. And apparently all these buildings. And then I came across this people. I came across this people. And they're doing horse carriage rides. And this is this is horsey. This is Cut it slowly. I have horses. So this horse, horse carriage, right? A golden triangle of Malacca. Ten dollars for adults and five for for beautiful boy. So you go for a ride like this. You go for a ride. Go for a ride. So the carriage rides I told you is this is called the Golden Triangle, this area. It's ten for adults, five for children. And this is the lady that's manning the horse. It's very, very nice. The trees here are really old and mature. And this is a triangle and I'm walking into the Golden Triangle of Malacca. I don't know if this hat she shook or anything like that here. Lots of people. I think on a weekend it's going to be booming. The rickshaws. Horse riding guys are also here. This is also... See, I see horses. Also $10 and $5, so it's the same thing here. And they are SOP friendly, so it's Master Jazz Rise here. So they have their license and all that stuff. These are the boys involved in here. And this is a horse. So I've seen about three horses so far. He's talking to the horse. So here, here is the Museum Dunia, the Malay and Islamic World Hi. Museum here. Hello, how are you? Hi, Moos. Well, hello, Hi, brother. Mos. Very nice, very nice. Just take a deep breath and I'll tell you what this is. Proclamation of Independence Memorial, Malacca Sultanate Palace Museum. I guess they're all in here somewhere. Follow me and we'll go check it out. I think it's the first weekend or after. Look at the trees up there. The Malayan Islamic World Museum. I don't know what's inside there. I don't know if I can go and try it there. So, we'll check it out. So, I guess this is part of the triangle. This is Dataran Pahlawan there. Dataran Pahlawan. Malacca Mega Mall. It's a mall. Who would have guessed? And this is what's left over. Oh, the bloody things up there. So, I guess there we go. We go for a walk. IPD Malacca Tenga. I met them, I met some of them yesterday. So they are here and Memorial. The natives are restless. So people, this is the A Famosa. I'm going to guess that all these cannons have been touched up and polished and... Yeah. 
Very nice. Facebook, yeah? So this is part of the... And I'm going to read what it says here. I don't know what it says here. Cota Santiago Fort. I can say I've touched it. I don't know. These cannons are definitely remade or refurbished or re something. 1706. It's saying something here. I can't really read it. 1706. This is a foster. This is when, in 1511, in 1511, the Portuguese fleet uh, attacked the Sultanate army of Malacca. This is, I don't know what's up there, but I'm definitely going to figure out what's up there. So I'll go through the front entrance. Very nice. People actually sat here in 1511. I don't think everything is the same build is this been built then. Okay. I guess we're walking up. So let's go for a walk. I might just edit this video so you don't have to endure this walk with me all the way to the top people here selling hats people here selling all kinds of touristy things hello and so this is known as St. Paul's Hill. This small hill of average height situated in the area bordering the river and the shores of Strait of Malacca. Settlements for seafarers. Parmesra, also known as Sultan Iskandashah. I don't know what year though. Oh, the story goes on. Portuguese occupations, forts, chapel called Nosa San Gerardo, Monte Our Lady of the Hill, 1545. Hmm. After the, so after the Portuguese, the Dutch defeated them and rebuilt the bloody thing and called it Bastion Middleburg, Bastion Santiago. British took over from the says all the there. Tumat Malacca is a British territory, was constructed. The history is here. I'm supposed to be That's the view outside. There we go. And do the trip. Chuti Chuti Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Malaysia tourism. So if you come to Malaysia, you must stop by at Malacca. I don't want to really walk up here. My team is behind. They just go young khaki. I've learned some new words. Potong steam. I feel like somebody should it goes all the way up. Bloody hell. I 
I need this exercise every day. Hello. I know you can go first. You're from New York? Uh, no, I don't know. Hmm? No, no. Bullshit only. <laughs> yeah, you're sick? Me too. You're sick, you're sick. Bullshit only. Kidding. Kidding. What's your name? I'm Mimi. Mimi? Yeah, Mimi. Mimi? Yeah. Emasculation of Mimi. Mariah, <laughs> I'm sorry? Mariah Carey. Yeah. <laughs> You're Mariah Carey. Oh, what's that? Sing for me. You don't know Mariah Carey? I don't know. Malu. Malu? Hashtag Malu. You don't know Mariah Carey? I don't know. Google. Google. I'm in Malaysia and this woman called Mimi doesn't know who Mariah Carey is. Okay. Hashtag Mimi Malu. <laughs> No, Show me your face. How do I smile? Show me your face. No. Come on, you're on, you're on YouTube right now. One minute. <laughs> no. Now you're Malu. Huh? How much are you going to pay me? <laughs> I won't. <coughs> no. <coughs> I won't make fun of you. You are right? I won't make fun of you. No, you're kidding me. I promise you I won't make fun of you. Go ahead. One, two, three, go. How about what? One fish down and then Google. Mariah Carey. No, I will Google Mariah Carey. Yes, you better Mar Google Mariah Carey. How to spell it? M A R I A. What do they teach you in Malaysia? Maria. Mariah. M A. R I A H. Maria. Holla, Mariah Carey. Carey, C A. Oh, I don't know. How should I name Mariah Carey? Do you know Mariah Carey? No, I don't know about her song, but I have her you know who somewhere. Huh? Teach your sister. <laughs> Mimi? Yeah? Hashtag Malu. Hashtag? Why were I Malu for, for not knowing? You don't even know Mariah Carey and you wear New York hat that doesn't belong in New York. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah. No, I just mm -mm -mm. buy this because you're so cool. New York. Yeah, the logo is so cool. Put like chow kit or something. I don't know because they just they just tell like this. It's okay, I'm joking with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Say mahalo. Hello. Very nice. What's your name? Oh, you may call me Wani. I may call you that? Yeah. Oh, what else can I call you? <laughs> Wani? Yeah, just that. Just that? Yeah. Mahalo, Mayor. Mm. I'm going back and this it somebody else, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give some people a hard time and breathing hard because I'm tired. Look at the bloody tree. Look at the bloody tree. Look at the tree. The tree is probably 500 years old, I don't know. And I'm walking up. There's unattended kids. Dutch graveyard. Of course, JC has got to go see what the Dutch, what the Dutch, what the Dutch graveyard is all about. So there's no tomb inscriptions here, just tombs. So some Dutchman, a woman, a kid, is married down, is buried, not married, pardon me. Oh. Huck Scott Esquire, to memory, the memory of, doesn't mean he died that day. 1843, young boy, 32, young man. No name, no inscription. I don't know how far this goes, but I'm not going all the way around. Hubert Jan Bragg, 1861, April 21. Rest in peace, my friend. Adrian K. 
can't read it. Something, something, something. I think it's, can't even tell. 1851, last but not least. This goes around, I'm not, sorry folks. Don't know. I'll see you back, up there, up there. Going back.